Good morning guys, it is Friday and I am out and about for the first time in what feels like forever. I don't know about anyone else but I feel like I'm the only person that hasn't been to, like since lockdown has lifted in England, I think I feel like I'm the only person that hasn't been to a pub yet or a bar or a restaurant. Um, I've seen fra family and I've seen friends like in the garden and stuff but I haven't actually ventured out anywhere properly yet and today I'm going to the dentist. <laughs> Um, well, I say the dentist, I'm going to the orthodontist. I don't know if you remember, but I spoke to you guys before, um, was it, I think it was just before Christmas. I went for an appointment at the orthodontist to talk about getting Invisalign. It's been something I've been kind of considering on and off for years. And I went for an appointment, told you guys that I was going, and then I sort of uh, didn't really follow through on it because we then went into a lockdown and I kind of thought, even though um, dentists and orthodontists were still open, I kind of felt like it wasn't essential treatment. And so I didn't really feel right going ahead with it at that time when nothing else was open. Anyway, fast forward a few months and we're kind of like coming out of lockdown. And so I am going, I'm starting on the journey again, <laughs> the journey of straight teeth. Um, so I'm heading there now. My appointment is at half past 10 and it's quarter past 10 now. So. I won't wrap it for too long um but i I'll, I'll sort of show you a little bit of the process today um i will try and take some like before and after pictures i mean the before pictures are not going to be pretty not that there's anything wrong like ma massively with my teeth like my top teeth are quite are quite straight reasonably straight like there's a few little discrepancies <laughs> um but i just like them to be perfect you know and my bottom teeth i don't know if you'll be able to tell but they are literally like completely crammed in my mum's got the same issue like her bottom teeth are really really like super crammed at the bottom um and so i would like them to just not be crammed anymore and just be a nice like straight row of bottom teeth not that you really see my bottom teeth when i talk that much but occasionally you do and and i just would like it done so that is what i am going to do today but also while I was out and about because it is such a blooming lovely day I thought I would pop into a few shops as well um so I thought I'd do like yeah just a little bit of a mooch around um pop into some shops maybe have a little look in H&M I do like I have in fact you've probably already seen my H&M haul um but I do want to film an H&M come shopping with me come shopping come, I can never blooming say that an H&M come shopping with me video soon um, because I miss filming them and I'm and I know a lot of you have said you miss seeing them so I will get back into the swing of Zara and H&M come shopping with me's um, I don't know if the changing rooms are open yet I'll find out today um, but yeah that is the plan for today a, a, an orthodontist appointment consultation and then a bit of mooching around some shops and oh the sun is out it's just a beautiful day honestly i was like literally driving here with the windows down the music on and feeling so spring-like um i didn't show you my outfit today because a typical me i was running late so i haven't i just yeah didn't really have a chance to um but i have got on a new white t-shirt from everlane it's like one of their super lightweight ones and it's just like the perfect white t-shirt feels so comfortable and they've got on blazer jeans uh, do you know what i'm not going to talk you through my outfit i will show you at some point um but i am going to head off to the orthodontist and get these teeth straightened up well at some point in the next year. <laughs> the side. You open yeah. wide for me again? Come again, slightly uncomfortable as so I come forward. Go with me. Well done. It's so clever that it goes straight up there. <laughs> And these are your wisdom teeth. This is the one that keeps giving you problems. Yes. And this one not yet. So that um, one's nearly through, is it? It's yeah. The one. Yeah, it's coming, it's pushing. So do you and think the other one will start giving me more grief? As... It hasn't given you any. No, so it's I good. It's so. almost quite similar. Yeah. I just need to get that little corner there slightly more on my okay. scan. No worries. There we go. So you've got white coming again. The key things are when 
what we're looking at here is we're looking at the position of the jaws. Okay? Yep. The reason that's important is because the jaws are the foundations of your teeth. Okay. So if your if your jaws are backwards or forwards or off to one side, it's yep. different to how your teeth fight together. Yep. Okay. In your particular case, the lower jaw is slightly back relative to the upper jaw, which is how a lot of us are built in Europe. That's yep. our genetic heritage for us. And, and it does impact upon the way the teeth are biting together slightly. Right. In your particular case, the, the, the fact that the lower jaw is slightly back relative to the upper is masked by you know, a kind of strong chin, chin button, so it doesn't look like your lower jaw's back. Basically, what the computer has done here is it's chopped your teeth up and put them in a straighter line. Um, and so, for, for, you know, if you've not had straight teeth before, it just gives you a nice idea to yep. show you know, um, what the teeth could look like. Um, when they're straight and, and so that's the lower yep. and that's that's the upper and although there's sort of less to do in the upper you know you can see that those changes that yeah. make uh, quite a difference yeah definitely but, but it just again highlights the fact that the teeth are slightly crowded and there's a yeah. requirement hey guys i've just got back to the car i put two hours on my car thinking i'd probably be in there for like just under an hour um and after two hours i literally rushed back to my car so i was in there quite a while i had to have like x-rays just to make sure everything was okay before we started the invisalign and just had to go through the process and i've got like a little bag here with some like the dental monitoring kit i will kind of chat through it a bit more later on like all the steps that they've told me so far um but all good um you will have seen like i did try and vlog a little bit of it um but they kind of showed me they scanned my teeth and showed me how they look now and how they will look it's not like a huge like there's not like a huge amount that needs to change in my top teeth um they just sort of need tweaking a little bit and then my bottom teeth just need obviously straightening out but very exciting to go ahead oh my god it's so hot in my car I li like it's cold in the sh i was walking to the dentist and um, the orthodontist it's warm in the sun but then when you get into the shade it's freezing but i've just got back to my car and it's boiling so i'm going to put another hour on my car and head back into town and pop into H&M because when I was walking past the window, oh my gosh, they've got the floral collection. I can't think, what's the collection called? I think it's called like Meadow something or, um, anyway, H&M have got like a beautiful floral collection out, which I, is stunning, but everything that I loved online was completely sold out in my, st in my size. So I'm gonna have a little look in store and see if they've got any pieces for me for me, any pieces for me, um, any pieces in my side, size. These are the dresses that I spotted in the window. These are the ones I've seen online. Like the back of that one is so pretty. So I've just got into H&M and I asked the lady on the door if we're allowed, if the fitting rooms are open and they are, which is brilliant news. So I may try a couple of bits on, but I just spotted this linen dress. Um, I think it's 17 99 I'm sure it said 17 99 Yeah, 17 99 And how cute is that? Just a really simple little square neck linen mini dress. Really lovely. Um, they've got quite a few bits from the floral collection. I can't think what it's called. I'm going to insert it on the screen. But, got some gorgeous like yellow dresses. Like very, very spring summer. They've got this one which was in the window. And then they've also got the same style but in like a white floral print as well. And then they've got these cute little ruffle tops which I'm pretty sure when I saw them online, they've got a matching skirt, although I can't see the matching skirt here. Oh look, that's that's the dress that I saw online. Have they got my size in that? 16, no, they haven't got my size in that one. I actually spotted this. Let me show you it. I saw this online, it's so cute, but they haven't got my size, annoyingly. Love that skirt as well, like the belt is gorgeous. And this little sheared top. This jumpsuit is gorgeous as well. It is like a, well, it feels like a linen blend. It's like got a very soft, lightweight feel, linen feel to it. $34.99, um, just a really lovely shape. It's very similar to the one I got from ASOS last year, actually. And then they've got this little floral play suit as well. I'm not as keen on that. I'm not sure on the shape of it. Um, actually, I don't know, it is quite cute. How much is it? Let's have a look. 
it is 24.99 and i've also just spotted over here that they have got the matching skirts you know the tops i pointed out those tops there the little ruffly tops they have got the matching skirts in here as well so gorgeous maybe i'll slip that on do you think i should try that on as a set top and skirt oh there's so many bits i love already i was not anticipating this got some of their swimwear out as well I love H&M swimwear I always find like the fit and the cut of it is really really good love this how cute is that little bikini top oh my gosh that's gorgeous and then you've got the matching high-waisted pants oh look at that how gorgeous is that as a set <gasps> love it also really like that as well beautiful and then they've got like a slightly darker striped one um, I actually had this bikini top about five years ago, so they must just have the same styles each year. Um, they've got some really lovely swimwear. They've got a really nice sort of simple red swimsuit with a low back. These are super cute, really cute. They are $12.99. Um, and then I also spotted this bag, which I thought was quite cute as well. That is $29.99, like a nice beach bag, a nice black beach bag. And then obviously they've got lots of gorgeous black swimwear as well. Some really nice bits. I like this sort of, is it called sheared style? I like that style. Those jeans look nice. Nice pair of straight cut jeans for $19.99. And then they've got some nice white straight leg jeans as well for $19.99 too. These trousers are really lovely as well. They're only $14.99 and they feel like they're in a very, again, like a lightweight linen fabric. I'm not sure if they are linen or not. Let me just check to see. No, they're 95% viscose and 5% linen, but they do, they've got that lightweight summer linen feel to them and they look a really nice casual style as well. And I also think that these trousers would look really good on. They're not, they look a bit funny off because they're so wide, but I think they'd look quite cute on. There's some gorgeous slip dresses as well. H&M always do really good slip dresses. These are $17.99 and they've got like this kind of muted, nudie coloured snake print and then a shimmery khaki, which is gorgeous and like a blush pinky nude as well. I think the khaki, I think that colour's really lovely. Oh, that's so pretty. The fabric is really pretty. They've got some lightweight linen blazers as well, although this one, I could only see it in an extra large. I really like the look of these shorts, like I like the style of them, the paper bag style, but they're in quite a thick, almost like a, like a jogger style fabric. And I think they'd be a lot better if they were in like a lightweight linen fabric. Um, but they're quite cute. They are $17.99 and I've just spotted and I've just spotted they've got these matching tops as well, which I mean, I personally wouldn't wear them as a set. I'm not keen on the top in general. These sandals are the same ones from my H&M haul, but in the black, whereas I got them in like the kind of gray taupe color and black. Um, they're only 17.99. I feel like I haven't been in here for such a long time. Um, I am in the H&M changing rooms. I've just brought in a few bits to try on. Um, a few bits from the floral collection, of course. A couple of dresses. Um, yeah, I think I've got five bits, so not too much. I am planning, like, when I was looking around then, I thought I'm going to have to dedicate a good couple of hours to do a proper come shopping with me video. Um, but today is just a bit of a taster, you know? Um, but I thought I would quickly show you my outfit before I get changed, my outfit of the day. Um, I am wearing blazer, from Everlane white t-shirt from Everlane this is the one I was talking to you about I'll show it to you I'll take my blazer off in a minute and show you but they're really really nice like lightweight super soft t-shirts jeans are from ASOS 
and then I've just got on some tan sandals and my gold jewellery bracelets from Monica Vidida. In fact, my orthodontist, the lady at the orthodontist said how much she liked the chunky chain one. I was going to say, well, I've got a discount code, but I thought, no, <laughs> no, Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> You're not in like YouTube mode now. Um, and then I've got on these little earrings. And yeah, that is my outfit of the day. Oh, and bag. I have got my Pauline. Pol oh, I'm so used to calling it Pauline now, I forget how it's pronounced. Pollen? Pauline. Pollen. Pollen. I've got my Pollen bag. I think that's right. Um, but yeah, cute little spring outfit. Anyway. I'm gonna try some of these bits on. Okay, so this is the first dress that I picked up to try on. And I mean, the fabric is just beautiful. Like look at all those big yellow flowers at the bottom. I love the way it kind of starts really big at the bottom and then little delicate flowers as you go up. Um, it's, yeah, beautiful fabric, feels really lovely. The only thing I would say is that it's quite kind of, if I stand back, you can see it does kind of flare out quite a bit. It's quite like tenty. Um, which is cute and I mean would be amazing if you're pregnant because ample baby room in there ample <laughs> um, but it is quite yeah quite can you say a dress is oversized I guess you can um, although it fits nicely around here it just flares out um, but I guess you could belt it if you wanted it to be a little bit more cinched in it would work it looks quite cute belted like that doesn't it um, but yeah really gorgeous oh and size wise I am wearing it in an extra small, um, so yeah, just for size comparison, this is an extra small and there's a lot of fabric, and it is $34.99. I will leave everything, like, I'll leave these bits I try on linked in the description box, um, and let me know what you, what you think of each piece as well. This is dress number two, and again, it's gorgeous, but it doesn't fit the best. It's, I think I picked it up in a size small. And I would definitely need the size small, like it's a bit loose around here and the shoulders feel like they are going to drop down. Like it, I think I got a small, let me just double check the label. Sorry, I've got a mirror, like a little mirror here so I can, oh, I haven't got a label on it. What's that? Yeah, it's a UK eight, this is. Um, so again, I would say it runs large, like it's definitely got a lot of room in it. Um, and yeah, doesn't fit me the best. I would definitely need a six. But apart from that, the style of it is so pretty. Like I love the way it cinches in here and then drapes out. Um, I think it would look really nice with heeled wedges as well to give it a little bit of a little bit of a height. I think it would fall really nicely like that. Um, I have also got black underwear on as well underneath. I don't know if you can tell, but that's not helping the situation. And I like the neckline. And I also think that like in the summer, you could wear it off your shoulders or if, like you were sort of wearing it and you were sitting in the sun you could sort of just drape it down um, if it fitted better <laughs> okay this dress definitely fits a lot better like it's really quite fitted around the top and then there's like a little bit of room here and it's quite fitted on my hips as well um, I think it's really cute just a really nice simple little summer's dress I know we've got a bit of sunshine and I'm definitely getting ahead of myself but I think at the moment you could even wear it with a blazer like I might try it on in a minute with my blazer over the top to see how it looks um it's not helping that I haven't done anything with my hair today because I feel like don't you think when you're in the fitting rooms and your hair's up it's easier when it's easier when it looks nice and you can kind of feel better in an outfit um but yeah really cute I think it's a nice length I've just popped it on with my sandals um and it's like not too short really nice shape I like it I think I might get this one Although saying that it does feel a little bit tight around here so I might size up because I haven't got a bra on and there's not much room for growth. <laughs> not that I plan on growing my chest much but anyway, anyway, I'll pop on the next one. Just to quickly show you how it looks with my blazer over the top. I really like how it looks styled like this. Maybe with some different footwear. I think maybe like this with maybe some trainers, like little white pumps or something like that. But yeah, I think it works really well with the blazer over the top at the moment while it's not too warm. And then as it gets warmer, it looks really cute on its own. I feel like a hula girl. Like I feel like I've got like a hula skirt on. Um, I picked this up in a size small, the skirt, but it is huge in the small, like there's so much fabric. I, should, I saw it in an extra small, but I thought, no, I'm not an extra small in H&M. Um, but apparently I am. So 
The skirt would be better if it was a little bit more fitted at the back and the top they only had it in a medium to large but I thought I kind of gave it a little feel and it looked like it might fit but obviously it doesn't very much there's a lot of fabric so yeah I feel like I'm definitely not demonstrating this outfit to its fullest potential I think if it fitted me better it would look a lot nicer obviously um, but yeah I just think it's not really doing much for me unfortunately but the skirt is gorgeous um, and in fact I think the skirt would probably just be better with a simple white cami top or like a strapless white top instead rather than together um, but then I don't know like I said it's hard to tell when it doesn't fit um, but yeah it is cute I will leave it linked below if you like the look of it because the skirt like the fabric is beautiful in fact I think that is the same fabric as this dress and I'm pretty sure a lot of the pieces like they come in a few different colors as well but anyway it's cute, it just doesn't fit. Before I put my blades back on, I just wanted to quickly show you this t-shirt that I've been harping on about. Um, only because I ordered it in this, in white, like a pale blue and like a taupey, beigey, brown colour as well. And it just feels so lovely on, like it's super lightweight, floaty fabric and I like the long sleeves on them, but I would also roll them up as well if I wanted them a bit shorter. Um, but I just wanted to quickly show you it because I know quite a lot of you asked me to recommend good, basic t-shirts and I would recommend these if you want something super lightweight for spring summer. Hey guys, it is Thursday now. It's Thursday morning and I'm hoping to get this video up this evening. So I thought I would jump on to finish it off basically because when I was editing it, I realized it ended a little bit abruptly and yeah, I thought I'd finish it off with a little bit of a PR unboxing. Ba well, basically there's a few bits that have arrived over the past few days-ish some of which I've already unboxed, so it's not actually unboxing, but then I had two packages arrive this morning. Um, and I thought the other bits you might be interested in hearing about, so I thought I would show you those bits just to finish off the video. Um, I actually didn't end up buying anything from H&M when I was in there the other day. Um, even though I really liked some of the bits I tried on, they just weren't quite right, and the dress, the little linen dress that I loved, they didn't have it in my size, so I may, I may order it online. I do think it's really cute. Um, in fact, I haven't actually checked if it's available online. If it is, then I will leave it linked. But um, anyway, yeah, didn't end up buying anything, but I, yeah, there's some quite cute bits in there. It wasn't great. It wasn't a huge selection, but I might give it a month. And then as some nicer sort of summary bits come in, I'll film a proper come shopping with me where I actually go in and try loads on. Oh, also I did just want to mention, I stupidly had no idea that, which it sounds really silly saying it now, but I honestly didn't realise that you were supposed to wear masks in the fitting rooms. Um, I thought that because you weren't with in, in like around anyone, um, that you could go in there, take it off, try things on, and then put it back on to come out. I don't actually know if that's the case or not. I still don't really know. I did try and Google it, but I couldn't find anything to say but I did have quite a few messages. I put a picture up on my Instagram account of me in the fitting rooms, and I had quite a few of you messaging me saying um, I should be wearing a mask in there. Um, so apologies if that is the case. Um, I, will, I will do my research and find out and next time if that is the case and I will be leaving my mask on. But I just wanted to say that because I'm sure some of you will be commenting that I should have had a mask on, so. Um, but just on that case, on that matter, I did see someone saying, I know it's not the same thing, but I did see someone saying that they were trying on wedding dresses the other day um, and that they didn't have to wear a mask to do that. As long as there's no one around you, you're allowed to take your mask off when you're trying things on. So I know that's wedding dresses and this is just normal clothes in H&M, but similar-ish sort of uh, situation. So who knows? Anyway, if you do know, if you work in a shop or if you know anyway, because I'm stupid for not knowing, then just let me know, leave a comment and let me know. But um, sorry if, yeah, if I should have done. Anyway, uh, a few bits that have arrived over the past couple of days that I thought you guys might be interested in seeing. I will keep it snappy because I don't want to, there's quite a few bits and I don't want to gabble on too much at the end of this video. Um, but first of all is this little package that arrived from ASOS and Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty has just launched at ASOS so they've sent out a few of their kind of hero products from the makeup range and from their skincare range, which by the way, I didn't realise, again, <laughs> stupidly, didn't realise that Wishful was, was Huda Beauty skincare. I actually have this 
in my shower at the moment. It's a, um, I can never blimmin' open these boxes. It is a um, enzyme scrub. You're not actually supposed to use it in the shower. I think you're supposed to use it on dry skin. Um, yeah, apply on clean dry skin. I use it in the shower and I really like it. It's a very fine exfoliator. Mine hasn't actually got these fruits on it. Oh, this must be a tropical fruit version. <laughs> anyway, I didn't know that was Huda Beauty, but I really do like that. And then they've also sent out um, a cleansing butter, a rose oil, and a few makeup pit bits. They've sent out mascara, a um, eyeliner pencil, and liquid in one, which is pretty handy. And then th this lip gloss, which I actually put on when it arrived, and it felt so lovely it's like a i think it's called yeah silk balm um and it is like just a very light shimmery peach that smells like cupcakes it smells beautiful and just gives a really nice gloss so i thought i'd mention that in case any of you love huda beauty and you would be interested to know that it's now available at asos another little package that i wanted to mention that also arrived a few days ago is a PR package from Wren. And I wanted to mention this because I thought it was quite interesting. They've sent out a collection, a selection of products that aren't actually from Wren. And they've said, these are, these are, our, these are our competitors. Here's why you should buy them. And it's basically saying that, um, although they're their competition, they are, um, da -da 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 -da. Wren asks you to consider buying products which also aim to be cleaner for the planet. So because all of these products are really clean and good for the planet. Wren are promoting them alongside their own products because they're kind of saying um, they're not our, they, um, in the fight to protect our planet, we are not competitors, we are allies. So they've sent out their um, Ready Steady Glow, which is just amazing. If you like kind of pixie glow tonic or that sort of liquid exfoliator, then you'll love this. Um, and then they've also sent out a product from a brand, for, oh, from Herbivore, which is their facial oil. Um, Biosance, this Squalane Vitamin C Rose Oil. This is a cleanser um, from Youth to the People, a kale and green tea spinach vitamin cleanser. And Cordially, have, they've sent out Vino Perfect Radiance Serum Complexion Correcting um, serum from Cordially. Um, so I just want, whoop, that nearly fell on the floor. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to quickly mention that because I thought that was really great that they were kind of championing other skincare brands that are really caring for the environment, um, zero waste ambition. And yeah, I'll leave, I'll leave these, all of these products linked below so you can kind of check it out if you're interested. I wanted to give that a little mention. Um, this arrived from a brand called Dose & Co, which is actually, I think, part owned or in collaboration with Khloe Kardashian. Um, and they reached out and asked if I would like to try some of their, um, not supplements, it's kind of like collagen, um, yeah, food supplements, it is supplements. Um, so they sent out, I have actually started using two of them. They sent out a collagen protein, protein powder, a pure collagen powder that I've been adding to smoothie, smoothies and a vanilla collagen coffee cream, uh, coffee creamer. Um, they did ask if I wanted to receive them and I, I did a little Google, looked online and they sell them at Holland and Barrett um, and they've got really good reviews. So I thought I would try them out. I'm loving, I haven't started this one yet, which is the protein powder, um, but I'm loving the other two. I, have, I mean, I say loving. I haven't see, noticed any results yet, but I've only been using them for a few days. So I will report back once I've given them maybe a month, maybe even two months, and seen whether or not the collagen has helped my nails, my hair grow, my skin. Um, so yeah, once I've really given it a good trial, I will let you know. Um, but I have been, like I said, adding the collagen to my smoothies and adding the coffee creamer to my coffee sometimes in the morning. Um, I'll use one or the other each day. Um, the coffee creamer tastes okay. It's not like, oh, it's not like, mmm, that's so yummy, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, I will also leave that link below. And then the other thing that I want to quickly mention that I have already opened as well are two beautiful bunches of dried flowers that I was very kindly sent from a brand called Three Sisters Farm. 
how beautiful are they um again they reached out and asked if i would like to choose a bunch of their dried flowers i actually went for this bunch obviously because it's very neutral and i just thought they'd sit really nicely in here somewhere um and they ended up sending me both bunches because they said that this was a new color release and they thought they would just add it to the add it to the delivery as well which was very very kind of them and i would never have gone for this color but they are so pretty and I feel like they give like a really lovely um, bright spring vibe. So I'm going to put them in a vase and I might have them up on the island actually. I think they'd really brighten it up in there and then maybe put these over that side of the house or put a bunch in the hallway. Um, I just think they're absolutely beautiful. In fact, I actually used this bunch as a prop for a couple of pictures that I did for my Instagram. I'll put, I'll insert a picture, um, but I've taken a couple of pictures for Instagram and I use this as a little little prop in the background and a little bunch of flowers i just think they're so pretty um so yeah i will leave both of these linked below but they do all all sorts of different um bunches of dried flowers that are beautiful lots of different color options um and i thought they were gorgeous and then these two packages arrived this morning and i thought i would just finish off by opening them up and seeing what is in there Oh, okay, so it's some beauty and skincare bits from YSL. Oh, these are going to be lovely, aren't they? Um, so, first of all, a mascara. I have not used a YSL mascara in ages, but I used to love... I don't think it was this one, but I used to have a YSL mascara, a gold one that I would use all of the time. Um, no, I don't think it was that one. I'm, sh I'm sure it's all gold. Um, I just think it was amazing, so I'm sure that will be brilliant. And so I've sent out a mascara, a touche clay, touche clat, touche clat or touche clay. I again used to use this all the time. Makeup artists used to always use this on me as well when I was um, modelling. I'd always get that used on photo shoots. And then they have sent out a oh a red lipstick rouge slim lipstick i'll have a look at that in a second this is a blur primer oh, how pretty does that look it's like a gold it's got like little tiny little gold particles in it um i think that there's an yeah there's an oh an empty box in in there for that it's obviously just fallen out um this is a night boot sip night reboot serum and then finally um a pure shots SPF UV uh, air thin UV defender oh amazing an SPF 50 fantastic thank you so much YSL beauty and then last but not least is this shiny silver package that also arrived this morning oh I was expecting these Red Ken have sent out some goodies again they um I think I tagged them in a post and then they messaged me and asked if I wanted to try out some different, um, oh, extreme cat, <gasps> again, I'm feeling old now. I used to use this when I was, I swear, I feel like I used to use this when I was at school. This is Red Ken Extreme Cat Anti-Damage Protein. I remember when I was at school, my hairdresser recommended this to me because she said that it rebuild, rebuilt the proteins in your hair and it's kind of like, yeah, it's like a spray. This is exactly the one. That, this must have been around for years. <laughs> um, so they sent out a Colour Extend Brown Lights. I mean, do you know what? I find it so weird that I'm now a brunette without ever intentionally becoming a brunette. Um, but they sent out that, the Extreme Cat, um, Extreme Mega Mask, Play Safe Extreme Heat Protection Cream um color extend brown lights conditioner so that's the shampoo and conditioner and then frizz dismiss leave-in smoothing cream and last but not least they have sent out their frizz dismiss anti-static oil mist um so i will give those a go in fact i'm going to give my hair a good wash tonight because um I put loads of Moroccan oil in it yesterday morning and plaited it and then plaited it again today. So it's had plenty of goodness sinking into it and now it needs a good wash. Hence why I've got plaits, by the way, because it needed a wash. 
Um, but yeah, that is everything for this video. I just wanted to wrap it up with a little, little PR unboxing. Um, and yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And by the way, sorry there has been three kind of H&M focused videos in a row. That was not intentional, it was just because I did one order which I split into two videos. And then obviously you saw yourself, I was shop I was kind of in town and I just happened to nip into an H&M and kind of made this an H&M come shopping with me. But um, yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would find it very helpful and I would very much appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye.